Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to download and install BlueStack 5 on Windows 10 and Windows 11 without any kind of error message. So you won't be getting any error message while downloading it, while installing it, and when, when you are using it. So make sure that you watch the video till the end, follow all these steps carefully, and you will be all set. Alright, so first you need to come to this website BlueStack, the link will be in the description. Once you come here, you have to download it. But before downloading, uh, you just need to enable some features from Windows operating system that are Hyper-V Virtual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervision Platform, Windows Sandbox, Windows Subsystem for Linux. So this is the first step that you need to apply. So in order to enable it, you need to click on your Windows search type appwyz.cpl and then you have to click on it now the program and feature box will be coming up now here from the left hand menu option you have to click on turn windows feature on or off so you have to click on it and now here in the windows feature you need to look for five important features okay so first we have to look for hyper v so we can see Hyper-V is here which has been disabled so we need to check this box of Hyper-V and then we have Virtual Machine Platform so we can scroll down and look for Virtual Machine Platform. Here it is, the Virtual Machine Platform has been enabled that's fine. Then we have Windows Hypervision Platform that has also been enabled. Then we have Windows Sandbox so we will enable this option. Windows subsystem for Linux. So we will also check this option. And then you have to click on OK. And now it will say searching for required file. Then it will go ahead and install these features on your Windows operating system. Now this video may be a bit lengthy guys because I'm sharing you a step by step explanation that how you have to properly download and install BlueStack 5 so that you should not get any kind of error message. And now it says Windows completed the requested changes. Windows need to reboot your PC to finish installing the requested changes. Alright, so you are done with the first step, but you need to finally make a restart so that this feature can successfully install on your Windows operating system and you should not get any kind of error message. So let me quickly go ahead and restart it. Alright, so the system has been now restarted. So now we can move with the second step where we will be downloading BlueStack 5. So now you need to come to this website of BlueStack and then you have to click on download that is on the right and top in a green button and once you click on it the file will be started downloading at the left and bottom and then you have to click on the downloaded file and then you have to click on yes for the permission and then you will see the BlueStack install now option is coming up so finally you have to click on install now and then the downloading and Everything will be started now and it may take some time so you have to keep some patience. Now it's checking and extracting file and I'm pretty sure that there won't be any error message and it will be successfully downloaded and installed. And now if you get any kind of notification like Hyper-V inaccessible, it says would you like to grant permission then you have to click on grant like for Hyper-V then you have to click on grant permission and after that it will be restarted again. Now once restarted you will see the blue stack icon will be created on your desktop. So once it's been created you need to make a right click on the blue stack icon and then you have to click on properties. The properties box will be up. Now here from the top menu option you have to click on compatibility and then you need to check this option run this program as an administrator then click on apply and then you have to click on ok now after that just double click on this blue stack 5 then click on yes and this will be now initializing so you have to wait here and now you can see that my blue stack 5 is now coming up without any kind of interruption and it's working absolutely perfect Okay, so you won't see any error message if you follow the same steps. So hopefully guys, this will work for you as well. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question, any problem. Let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.